Let's start by opening up the Zone Beacon application and seeing how it controls Central Light Elegance and LightJet installations. You can see when you first open the application, there is a list of zones. A zone is like an area or a grouping of areas in a residential or commercial building. Inside of each zone, you will find buttons. So in the entranceway zone, there is a button to control the entrance lights, living room lights, and a combination of both. In the main floor, we have a separate set of buttons. Now, let's say you take the time to set up your house or building and want to save all of those settings so you have a backup copy of it. No problem. Just click the email link below and save yourself a copy of all of your settings. Another really neat feature of this application is that after you take the time to configure the application, you may want to share these settings with other people. If these other people have iPhones or iPads, and you would like them to be able to control the lighting, you can simply share these settings over Bluetooth. Click the Bluetooth link at the bottom and find the guest device, for example, Dave's iPhone. Now, all you need to do from there is send a copy of the saved settings over to the guest device. There is also a help link at the bottom of the screen if you run into any difficulties. Now let's get into controlling a central light elegance or light jet system. I will begin by clicking into the entryway zone. In response to the Zone Beacon command, the Central Light Elegance Windows software in the background and the test box on the right side of the screen both show the lights turning on. Now let's turn on the living room lights. The whole entrance is an example of a virtual scene that controls both the entranceway and the living room lights. So instead of using a scene inside the Central Light MCP, you can create a scene inside of the iPhone application. What's nice is these scenes can actually be reused, so let's take the whole entrance scene and see how it's reused in the main floor zone. Here, you see the reuse of the whole entrance scene. The status on the right of the button indicates the state. We can also turn off this button here as well. Each of the buttons you see here can control a combination of loads, switches, and scenes in any central light elegance or light jet system. In theory, the Zone Beacon application can be considered like a virtual keypad. You have all the same features as a keypad, including the ability to change dimming percentages. So instead of 100%, let's bring the lights down to about 25%. Next, let's take a look at the screens that are actually used to configure the settings for the Zone Beacon application. We'll open up the edit mode, and you can see that the colors have changed to light blue to indicate that we're in a different mode of operation. From here, you actually have access to a number of different categories. Zones, which we have already looked at, groups, which are the buttons that are pressed in user's mode, command groups, which allow you to reuse a list of commands, and finally commands, which are either a load, a scene, or a switch. So let's exit out of this, and we'll look at how all these concepts come together. We'll click into the main floor zone, and you see we have one button here named Good Morning. This button can control the great room, the kitchen, and the bathroom. Let's click into the great room and see that the great room command group is comprised of two commands, the left side load and the right side load. Doing a long press brings up the edit screen for the row that you are pressing. We have made it really easy for whoever is doing the whole configuration to identify a single or multiple MCP system. If multiple, whether you're talking to MCP 1, 2, 3, or 4, then you simply define it as a scene, load, or switch. In this case, we're using load 001 and talking to Gateway that talks to our single MCP system. So I'll save that. And what you're saying below for all the technical folks is the actual serial command that we are sending. 
We've discussed the Zone Beacon application. Now, let's focus on how it can communicate with connected devices. Take a look at this diagram. This shows the iPhone talking to a residential or commercial wireless network, which eventually talks to a gateway. The gateway then sends serial commands onto the connected systems or devices. Zone Beacon supports a number of different gateways, which cost between $30 to $70 per gateway. If we click into a command, we can see the gateway. If we long press, we can see the configurations. This is where we define the IP address, the port number, and the communication protocol. One of the neat things about the way the Zone Beacon application was designed was that each command is tied to a gateway. Zone Beacon allows for multiple gateways to be used. In other words, a single button can control multiple buildings and multiple MCPs. Thanks for taking the time to learn about Zone Beacon.